I just kind of want to say that like um, I'm really like uplifted by a lot of conversations that are happening like now where men yes. are turning around and say I want to listen um, I saw a tweet last night that was the man saying how can I be less threatening on the street yes and um, okay. it was amazing it was it was it was really nice and I don't really want to praise people for the, the <laughs> kind of bare minimum i um, very stressed about that at the moment but um, yes. what I do want to say is that when you kind of come to the not all men argument if you want to turn around to women who are, are saying I am scared then and say not all men, then go and prove it by turning around and making a difference, by asking and listening. If you want to say not all men are threatening on the street, then be unthreatening. I hope this isn't a stupid question, but a, a few men have already been in touch asking, really, the answer to that question. What, what does unthreatening look like? So, basically, it, it's the unknown, I think, is what is scary for us, and I cannot speak for all women, but if I refer to that thread, um, which I um, I think I added you on Twitter and the thread actually, I'll I have think a it's a really, yeah. it was a really, there was a lot of really nice responses um, and unthreatening at night in the dark, not walking behind the woman slowly and staying there. So if you're chatting on the phone to someone, then you are less threatening. Um, if you cross the street away from her, you are less threatening. Yeah. If you try not to overtake her, you are less threatening. These are things that people indicated would be less threatening. But if there's a man who is walking behind you, slow, like just staying behind you, not saying a word, that is a little bit threatening. Um, because you can't see him. You can't know what he's going to do. And the fact of the matter is, is that's, that's a scary, scary thought. Um, I literally live one block away from my, um, from my like university campus. Yeah. And there's a tunnel between here and there because of construction work. And... Myself and my flatmate would still phone somebody on the way home from there if it was dark because yeah. it's terrifying. It's a really scary little tunnel. And it's just the thought of that is like really icky, I guess. Like, and, and there won't be a man alive who, who'd contemplate phoning a friend before walking through a subway. And, and that's a figure of speech. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, no, don't, don't, don't at me if you are a man who's frightened of walking through subways. Today's not your day. Can